dear students today we will discuss on topic mathematics in daily life right now we will see the uses of mathematics in our everyday life right so here mathematics is all around us it's everywhere we go it's in our kitchen in our house and in our surrounding mathematics is used in running shops business cooking and in every single activity we do in our everyday life we will discuss in this chapter on topic cost price and selling price profit and loss unitary method and mapping skills here one example mr rishi rana's father an electrical appliances shop owner bought a new model of television set for rupees 60000 from a company since it was very new to the market he was able to sell it to a customer for rupees 80000 the money mr rishi paid to buy the television set is called cost price and the money mr rishi received by selling the television set is called the selling price right what do you think here did he get any extra money yes he received rupees 20000 more than what he spent so that is his gain because he is getting rupees 20000 extra now another example mr prabhu marries father who also owns an electrical good shops try to sell the same television set but he was not as lucky to get a customer like mr rishi finally he sold it for rupees 50000 this amount is also called selling price what do you think here now did he get any extra money no he didn't in fact he got rupees 10000 less than the cost price so there is a loss of rupees 10000 right now we will discuss about profit and loss here 600 is selling price and 500 is cost price so we can see here that the selling price is greater than cost price so in that condition there is profit and here we can see that cost price is rupees 800 and selling price is rupees 600 right so here we can see that the cost price is greater than selling price so there is in that condition there is loss here we can uh, say that the gain or loss is always calculated on the cost price right here some formulas we need to learn this okay so gain is equal to selling price minus cost price loss is equal to cost price minus selling price selling price is equal to cost price plus profit and selling price is equal to cost price minus loss here we are finding the selling price selling price in the condition of profit and in the condition of loss now we will see the cost price in both the condition right so the cost price is equal to selling price minus gain and cost price is equal to selling price plus loss now we will solve a few questions of my practice time one so uh, question number 1 is that find the profit so a cost price is equal to rupees 659 and selling price is equal to rupees 734 and 50 paise right here the given cp is equal to rupees 659 and sp is equal to rupees 734 and 50 paise so we can see that here sp is greater than cp so there is a profit so profit is equal to sp minus cp right so here we are subtracting 
659 from 734 right so here yeah, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and 5 minus 0 is equal to 5 so we cannot subtract 9 from 4 so we need to take borrow after taking borrow we are having 14 so 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 and after uh, returning the borrow there is 2 okay so now we cannot subtract 5 from 2 so we need to take borrow again here so it is now 12 so 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 now after returning, uh, returning the borrow the 7 will be as 6 so 6 minus 6 will be 0 so there is a profit of rupees 75 and 50 paise now question number b cost price is equal to rupees 325 and 50 paise and selling price is equal to rupees 567 and 50 paise here it is given the cost price is equal to rupees 325 and 50 paise and selling price is equal to rupees 567 and 50 paise so here we can see that the sp is greater than cp right so in that condition there is a profit so profit is equal to sp minus cp so now putting the value of sp and cp now here we are uh, we are subtracting here we are subtracting cost price from the selling price right so here 0 minus 0 will be 0 then 5 minus 5 will be 0 then 7 minus 5 will be 2 and 6 minus 2 will be 4 and 5 minus 3 will be 2 so there is a profit of rupees 242 okay now question number c cost price is equal to rupees 412 and 25 paise and selling price is equal to rupees 552 and 50 paise right so here given cp is equal to rupees 412 and 25 paise and sp is equal to rupees 552 and 50 paise right so here we can see that the sp is greater than cp right so in that condition there is profit so a profit is equal to sp minus cp so here we are subtracting cost price from the selling price so we cannot subtract 5 from 0 so we need to take borrow from here okay so after taking borrow we are having 10 so 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 then after returning the borrow there is 4 so 4 minus 2 will be 2 here the 2 minus 2 will be 0 and 5 minus 1 will be 4 and 5 minus 4 will be 1 so there is a profit of rupees 140 and 25 paise right now the next question question number two find the loss okay so cost price is equal to rupees 56 and 50 paise and selling price is equal to rupees 45 and 50 paise here given the cp is equal to rupees 56 and 50 paise and sp is equal to rupees 45 and 50 paise so here we can clearly see that cp is greater than sp in that condition there is a loss so loss is equal to cost price minus selling price after putting the value we have now we are subtracting here selling price from the cost price so here 0 minus 0 will be 0 and 5 minus 5 will be 5 and 6 minus 5 will be 1 and 5 minus 4 will be 1 so there is a loss of rupees 11 right now question number b cost price is equal to rupees 342 and 50 paise and selling price is equal to rupees 234 and 50 paise so here uh, we know that cp is equal to rupees 342 and 50 paise and sp is equal to rupees 234 and 50 paise so dear students you can see here that cp is greater than sp here right so in that condition there is again there is loss okay so loss is equal to cost price minus selling price after putting the value again we are subtracting here selling price from the cost price so here 0 minus 0 will be 0, 0 and 5 minus 5 will be 0 then we cannot subtract 4 from 2 so we need to take borrow so after taking borrow there is 12 12 minus 4 there will be 8 and after returning the borrow there is 3 so 3 minus 3 will be 0 and 3 minus 2 will be 1 so there is a loss of rupees 108 
dear students uh, home task a few questions uh, i am giving to you of my practice time one so you need to solve this in your math notebook right thank you